Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about ensemble models. All right, we've got a fun tutorial coming up. So we've got uh, the whole general category of ensemble models has two subcategories. The first one is bagging. For example, random forest, you may have heard of this algorithm. And by the way, here's a um, fact for your trivia night or something to talk about at work at the next drinks party. Bagging actually comes from bootstrap aggregating. So it just so happens that bagging is a very, very good acronym for what we're doing for the actual term bag bootstrap aggregating, as we'll see just now. And the second category of ensemble models is boosting. For example, gradient boosting, uh, XG boost, CAD boost, light GBM, all of them fall under this boosting uh, category. So what's the difference? Today we're going to find out the the fundamental differences between these two types of ensemble models. So in the bagging ensemble model, this one, we'll start with this one, we've got the original data set, then we bag it. <laughs> and that's what I mean when I say that uh, bagging is a perfect acronym for bootstrap aggregating because it really explains well what we're doing. So we put all that data, um, let's say we have uh, 10,000 observations, we put all 10,000 in this bag, and then with a process uh, we sample from that bag uh, with a process with replacement. Uh, so basically we take out 10,000 samples, but we take out one sample and we put it back in. And then we shuffle it and then we take out another sample and put it back in. So we take out 10,000 samples in total, but because we're putting them back, we might, uh, well, most likely we aren't going to get the exact same original data set. We're going to get some um, elements repeating several times. So we'll have a very different looking data set, but which will have the same exact size as the original data set. Um, and then we will use that data set that we've just taken out of the bag using this method. Uh, we will build a model with that data. So that will be our first model. Then we'll use that same sampling approach and we'll take out another data set of another 10,000 um, observations. And this one will be different yet again, even though it's constructed from the same original data set, but because we're putting, we're taking something out and then we're putting it back. So we're taking something out, we're registering what we took out, that sample, we're adding it to our uh, sample base, but we're putting it back so to allow us to take it out again if, you know, if, if it so happens. And we build a model from that. And then we have another, uh, do it again, and then we build a model from that. And we do it again and many, many, many times. So we build many models, all of which come from the same original data set, but in each case it was sampled differently. And for, as a result, we get all these models and what we're going to do is we're going to take the average of their models. So our final ensemble model in this case will be the average of all of the models. So that's how bagging works or bootstrap aggregating. Now in terms of uh, boosting or for, for instance gradient boosting, what we do is we take the original data set uh, and then right away we don't do any bagging, we just build a model from that data set. And in most cases, the first model is a very, very simple model, as we'll see in, in the upcoming tutorials. It's just a simple average of all the data. But we'll talk more about that in upcoming tutorials. Basically, we build a first model. And then after that, all of the models following that will be uh, designed to sequentially reduce errors. What does that mean? Well, the first model is going to have some sort of errors. All models have errors and nothing is perfect, right? So it's going to have some sort of errors. And we're going to take those errors and we're going to based on the errors that we see, based on the prediction errors that the model has in our data set, um, we're going to build this new data set. Um, basically, it'll have the same size as the original data set. And now we're going to, but it's going to be adjusted to focus on the observations with the highest errors. From that, we'll build a model number two to further improve our predictions based on the errors that we saw. Then from model number two, it'll have its own errors. And then we'll use that to focus in on the observations that we're not predicting well. And we'll build a model three to even further improve, to further predict those predictions, to those samples that we were not predicting well, and so on. And so basically each one of these new uh, quote unquote data sets that we're creating focuses, and models that we're creating, focuses on the high error instances and uh, enhancing the prediction. And so in that, in this, uh, like the logical conclusion to this is that once we take all of these models, all we have to do at the end is add them up. So our final, uh, our, our final ensemble model will be model number one plus model number two, because number two 
improves or in the case of xg boost will be actually predicting the errors of model number one then mobile model number three will be predicting the errors of model number two and so on and so if we add them all up that final uh model that will be our final model so our final model is this uh, final ensemble model in this case is the sum of all of the models uh, that we created through boosting so there we go that's uh, the two main methods the key takeaway here is that the key difference between these methods is that uh, bagging focuses on creating independent uh, models and then averaging out their independent predictions, whereas boosting focuses on reducing error in a sequential manner with each model building upon the previous one, and therefore at the end, we add them up. Now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning, and I look forward to seeing you there.